Now let's dive into content page and see how we can actually build content easily in Canvas. When you hit the page, it's obviously blank. But when you click edit, you gain access to a set of five tools. I'm going to quickly reveal those tools. Tool number one is the rich content editor. It's these tools that look very familiar to word processing users. This is how you add text. It's recommended that you use 12 point fonts. You can type objectives. There is a tool that allows the users to embed video from the user's webcam. Here you can insert math equation. There is an option to embed image and of course the ability to add links. This is the rich content editor. You can also toggle to the HTML editor and now you can see the backside of what's being designed. This tool allows you to embed web tools like Google Slides or Google Docs into your canvas pages so that they may appear live and dynamic in the Canvas interface. To quickly demonstrate what this looks like is that I have gone to Google Slides, I have got the embedded code and now I am pasting it into the HTML editor. When I toggle back to the rich content editor, you will see the Google Slide is now being loaded in the Canvas page and will run in the Canvas interface. This allows us to bring in all the dynamic elements like YouTube videos, wiki images, presentations from web, etc. I click on edit again. If I had a file document that I want to insert in this page, I will use this file tab. Click on file, click upload a file. I am going to grab a PDF or some type of document from my computer. I am going to load the document. It's going to automatically be added to the page where I had my cursor. When I click save, the document is going to be viewable. It can be downloaded by clicking on the link. Having added a document, I am going to click on edit one more time. Please note that in Canvas, to bring in an image file, you don't use the files tab. There is a separate tab for images to bring in any type of image files like JPEG or PNG. I am going to grab an image file and upload it. It is successfully layered in where I had my cursor. Finally, there is a tool in Canvas that will allow you to link from one page to any other item you have created in the course. For example, if your course had a page, you can drop in the internal link to that on any page by clicking the link itself. I navigate to my module and having created the lesson objectives, I can now click on discussion. Click on edit and you will notice that the discussion has the same set of tools. The rich content editor, the HTML editor, the three tabs that I had on the content page. But there are additional settings available because this is a discussion. The same is true for quizzes and assignments. The content page has all the same design tools, but the settings relate to the tool's purpose. Hence, you can see how the set of five tools help participants of this course in creating engaging and dynamic learning experiences for students.